welcome everyone. Thank you so much for everyone for attending the event this morning and this evening in Taiwan. My name is Signy and I work for the Nisli Interactive team at iEarn USA. We're just so happy that this event has come together and, and we're really looking forward to exchanging in some dialogue. So yes, again, a, a warm welcome to the November 2016 virtual event for the National Security Language Initiative for Youth program titled Relationship Building in Language Immersion. A quick overview on how this event will run. In a few minutes, I'll give each classroom the opportunity to say hi and say a couple sentences about yourself if you'd like. Then we'll turn it over to the student presenters to give their presentations, and then we'll finish with a Q&A between the students in the classroom. Since we are a, a bit limited on time, students in the U.S., if you're able, I welcome you to ask questions throughout the presentation using the chat box in the lower right corner. Um, and whoever is not presenting, if you guys could keep an eye on that chat box and answer their questions so we can continue to have a robust dialogue throughout the entire event. I believe that's all I wanted to cover on my end. So now I will turn it over to the Boston Latin School to give your introduction. Hi. 大家好. 大家好. 大家好,我叫朱美玲 Great. Okay, so we can hand the camera over to another school. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you. The Dalton School. Welcome. 大家好。我们大二顿学校在哪儿? <笑> <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Um, then with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to your presenters, beginning with Mackenzie. Okay, 听得到吗? can you hear me? Yes? Okay. Taiwan大学,所以他不常常在家。所以今天我要给你我跟我的同学的建议,怎么建立好的关系。你最好听准分配在学校朋友接待家庭之间。Friends,family,and is better than possibly offending someone. So, so, great communication is super important. This so I say this because when you get home, 我觉得午餐还是早餐是最好的时间认识你的接待家庭。
还有建议一起参加活动，比如说玩游戏，请他他们叫你死心。比如说我常常玩借来家庭，你可以教我流行的首歌，还或是我们一起常常一起看电影，这是好的办法。联系。你的中文，但是如果你有问题，你可以问他们。一起参加活动是 ，it's a good thing to participate in activities in case you don't have something to talk about otherwise. And then, 你应该 ，you should also make sure to include them when you are planning things in case they want to do something with you. I always like every weekend or 那个周末我问他们，哦，今天有打算，这这个周末有打算吗？如果我没有，我跟朋友一起出去玩。但是在我的姐她家庭，我们常常那个周末常常旅行。So this is keeping up relationships with 跟兄弟姐妹。我的情况很特别，因为我的姐的姐姐不住在家，她每个月回来，但是大部分的时间她在台北。我我们都在高雄，所以我开始我自己的传统。So in an effort to keep touch with her, I discovered that she really likes dogs. So I'll just send her whatever cute dog videos I find on Facebook for the day. 如果你不知道怎么开始，你可以用流行的题目。So, 题目，不好意思，你们有呃一样的兴趣吗？还是你也要有很多耐心？你的关系，你们越来越互相认识、了解。OK， so 我自己自己的建议是，开始更接待家庭，开始你们自己的传统。比如说，在台湾，我们我妈妈常常喜欢做美国。吃，但是我说哦，我不用，我要台湾的。但是说啊、哦，没事没事，我要做这样子，所以我开始学，不好意思，开始教他，对 ，like 好的办法做真的美国吃。And every time， 每次我们一起旅行的时候，每个每个地方有自己的特产，所所以他们给我本地的食物试试看。Sorry， my time is short， so I'm trying to go fast， and then。为什么你的接待家庭那么重要？因为对我来说，他们是最好学中文的办法。因为你可以在在美国，你没有这个 resource， 所以你可以问他们哦，本地人呃流利的办法怎么说这样子，还是这个句子？还有，我觉得有时候接待家庭比课本好，因为比如说我的课本现在我们学。录音，但是没有很多机会，呃，练习录音的的层次。OK， 呀、yeah, ，还有最后的最重要的是，你回家的时候，你有两个家 ，You have two families. And with me, I have a really strong relationship with my host family thus far, and I'm only two months in. So then I'm really hoping that like that I'll continue this relationship, and they've also talked about coming to America in the summer. So I look forward to that. Yeah. So I would say, 最重要的的建议是跟接待家庭有明白的、明白的沟通，清楚的沟通。OK， so 谢谢大家，有问题吗？